Baltimore Eagles face the 2-5 and five Cowboys in Arlington. According to ESPN's Football Power Index, Philly has a 63% chance to win on Sunday. Stephen A., should the Eagles be favored in Dallas? Yeah, they should be favored in Dallas because Dallas still doesn't have a quarterback. Their defense has vastly improved, but last time I checked, the Eagles' defense has been playing pretty good football, uh, particularly their secondary. We got on Byron Maxwell earlier uh, in the year, but he has shown up. Of course, my man Malcolm Jenkins has been balling, along with Fletcher Cox and a few others. In the end, what it comes down to, however, is that the Eagles' defense is on par with what we've seen from Dallas since Greg Hardy and Rolando McLean arrived. But offensively, the Dallas Cowboys are damn near offensive. They haven't been able to do anything right, really. And so when you look at it from that perspective, I think what it comes down to is the fact that if the Eagles give you anything, I think they can win this game. Obviously, they already lost to Dallas once. Having two division losses against the Dallas Cowboys is, is, is just bad. They can't afford to do that. Jordan Matthews has been beating himself up. I think he's got about six drops on the year. Other receivers have been dropping the ball. But I think in this particular game, the Eagles will do just enough to squeeze by the Dallas Cowboys. I think it's appropriate that they're favored because I think they're the better football team. They're the more complete football team, even with a suspect Sam Bradford as their quarterback. I just think that the multitude of weapons that they have, it comes down to Matt Castle or Brandon Whedon against Sam Bradford and a suspect that Sam Bradford has been from time to time there are a lot of dropped footballs that the Eagles wideouts have incurred this season they got to catch the football some of those passes some of those incompletions Sam Bradford has on his resume on on his record this season were undeserved They've dropped a lot of passes. They've got to fix that. I think in a game of this magnitude, recognizing the urgency of the moment, I think they do that. I think the, the Eagles step up, they answer the bell, and I think they're appropriately favored because I think the Dallas Cowboys offense is somewhat anemic at this moment in time. And I love it that my Cowboys are home underdogs to the arch rival hated Philadelphia Eagles. I love it that all the pressure is now on the Eagles and maybe some of the motivation is on the side of my home standing Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to go on record. We usually wait until Friday, Stephen A, but you know I'm a longtime, lifelong Cowboy fan. I'm going to show my colors early this week. My colors are metallic blue and silver. The Cowboy season starts right here, right now. They are going to beat the Eagles, even with Matt Castle at quarterback. I believe that even Matt Castle can make one more play than Sam Badford can. I believe that my Cowboys will win this game and the next game at Tampa Bay to at least stay afloat for the return in three weeks of Tony Romo. And I believe there could be some quiet motivation, I hope they don't talk about it, as a payback game against this kid Jordan Hicks, the rookie, he's, he's a very talented rookie out of the University of Texas for the Philadelphia Eagles. In fact, yep. he is tied. He's the one that hurt Romo. Yeah, he hurt Romo, but he's tied for the lead in, in team tackles for the Eagles. Every time I look up, he's making another play. Way to go, kid. But you cheap shot at Tony Romo. You said that you attacked him when he was on the ground defenseless and you broke his collarbone. And he's obviously been out since your game in Philly, which my Cowboys did win 20 to 10, and it was actually 20 to 3 until a cheap late touchdown. So my Cowboys beat your behinds pretty solidly, even with Brandon Whedon, just stay on the Whedon, finishing that game up as a relief pitcher. He threw a long touchdown pass. Remember the one that your man just watched? Remember the one Maxwell just watched Terrence Williams run to the end zone with? That made it 20 to 3. Mm -hmm. So I got a feeling that my Cowboys like their chances this time. They've been close, they've been close, they've been close. I just think the ball has to bounce their way just one time. And this is going to be the time at home. Again, division rival, like the circumstance. I, I, I don't mind that the Eagles are coming off a bye because I, I think they don't feel all that great about themselves at three and four. And I think my defense feels pretty good about itself right now. So Darren McFadden pounds the ball. Maybe, just maybe, Castle makes one or two plays. I'm going to go down with the ship here 
I'm hanging in with my Dallas Cowboys, and I feel good about this game. Thank you. Well, you can feel good. You can feel good all you want to. You've been feeling good for about five weeks now. How has that worked out mm -hmm. for you? Mm. What did I say was going to happen last the week in Seattle? With the, I just said with we the got no shot. The, the, no shot. Yeah, 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 but you didn't mean it. You meant it against I, the Patriots, I, no, but you didn't mean no, it against I'm, Seattle. I, you didn't mean I, it. I, I, you didn't 1, mean it. I 1,000% you, As it. you would say, as you would say, I know you better than you know yourself. No, no. For the last Sorry. five weeks, no. you were sitting up there happy and excited, mm -mm. No. sitting up in there Sorry. watching the Cowboys. Let's no. go. We're going to do it. And it didn't happen. You are You're wrong. being phony, but it's no. okay. I, you were, you thought the Cowboys were going to win at least two I, of those games. No. Yes, you did. I told yes, you they'd you beat did. the Falcons, and I told you they'd beat the Saints in New Orleans. I and did not say you did not tell me that. And they're up 28-17 at halftime against the Falcons, and it goes to no, overtime no, in New no, Orleans. Wow. I was really wrong. I did not say, I did not say you did not tell me that. Mm -hmm. I said quietly, privately, you thought otherwise. What you said for public consumption I don't do that. had nothing I to do with how you, were in your room, how, you were, how you were in your room sitting there in saying, we could do it, we could do it, we could do it. That's why your heart was broke. That's why your heart was broke. I, I That's, why your heart was, That's why you're miserable. That's why the Thank Dallas you. Cowboys uh, keep letting please. you down. I told you they were going to break your heart, mm -hmm. and you wouldn't listen. And that's what's going on here. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you're just trying to disguise it because we got a long season to go. No, but we I don't. know you. It your heart's now. broken because that's a no, it doesn't. It's over, and you know it. Oh, it's I over. I told you it's going to happen. We're one game out of first happen. place in the lost column. Really? Doesn't it's matter. over? Doesn't After matter. this weekend, you'll Doesn't be two games. Oh, we'll discuss that later. We'll get into that later. Wait a second. And since Miss Molly just threw this out there, are we all sure? Are we just 1,000 percent convinced? that the Giants are going to win at the Buccaneers? Yes, are we, are we and sure we're going to discuss that later. Oh, yeah, yeah. you were sure last I, week, too. Oh, right? It was so close, oh, Skip. Stop oh, it. You didn't you know the sure? Giants were going to put up that uh, many points. I did know. I, I saw that one come. I heard your scores. Those yeah, weren't your accurate yeah. predictions. Yeah, well, so wait a second. The Redskins play at the Patriots. They're going to lose. How's that going to work out for them? What if, just what if, oh, gosh. what if the Giants got upset by Jameis and company down in Tampa Bay and the heat down there? That'd be sad. And, and what if the Cowboys beat the Eagles, then what would these standings look like? Mm. Wow. That would be interesting, yeah, wouldn't it? that would be. Mm. But that won't like happen. Like I said, like I said, just setting, you, setting yourself up to get your heart broken. Yeah. Yeah. Just go ahead. Well, well, I'm, I'm trying with to help Stephen you. A. I'm trying to be there for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm trying to be there for you. You, know you don't want to listen. It's okay. At Watch. least I'm going down with the ship, baby. Watch. Okay. You, right? You enjoy well, you going go down, down with the Titanic. Sit. Yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 that's, you go ahead and you do that. Wait you go ahead and you do that. You go, down, ship. you go down and sink with that ship. Go ahead. No. Go All ahead. Right. We'll see. Up next, we switch to college. The college football playoff rankings are hot off the press. Are we okay with where Bama's ranked? We'll break down the playoff picture back in a moment.